And we're running. <laughs> Let's run better this time. Uh, yeah. No, welcome back to Extra Play. There's no time for a full introduction because, as you can see, oh God, we are being hurry. chased. Oh gosh, and we're being shot at. And that trying to <laughs> Come on. There we go. Huh. Okay, so those <laughs> bars you can get through. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Oh, interesting. Did, I want, did you have to grab that? Because it seemed. Yeah, that's probably too far a drop if you didn't grab it. I would think so. Which, if you've ever tried that in real life, that would probably do more damage to you than just dropping it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> grabbing onto a bar from a dead drop. That's, <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, that would. Uh... But not in games or movies. That's nope. Fine. Nope. <laughs> right behind you. Keep going. In games or movies. You can fall a long, long way, so long as you fall into trees and hit every single branch on the way down, <laughs> you'll be fine. Or water. <laughs> or water, yes. Lesson for life, kids. There is no height you can fall that water will not be <laughs> perfectly safe <laughs> to land in. The one thing I, I was happy to see on the, um, what is that, um, Mythbusters, was that bullets actually do, like, the water is is an, a pretty effective shield against bullets. Really? Like they go off in crazy spiral directions when pretty much after a couple inches of water. Are you sure? Ah, jeez. Ah, come on, Nate. There you go. Uh, did they go this way? I hope they did. Good. There we go. Oh, Nate. Oh, oh nice. This is another great nod or inspiration they took from Indiana Jones is just the little things that go wrong that make you feel <laughs> like this is, this is a little more of a world. Yeah. And less a construct. He is in no way in control of everything going around. In fact, he's just barely getting by. Yeah. yeah. I, I love that. I'm sure that was a that was a super conscious thing they did from the beginning when they were saying, you know, we want to make an Indiana Jones game, but we don't have the IP. Yep. So uh, <laughs> what are the elements we want to take from, from this? <laughs> and that was certainly one of them. And it's baked into everything, too. Like the, everything to do with the way Nate runs and moves around is scrambly and mm -hmm. kind of coordinated, he's but not in control. control. He's yeah. falling. He's, yeah, he's uh, <laughs> just barely getting by. And he doesn't run like an Assassin's Creed character, he doesn't jump or land like an Assassin's Creed character, he just... He survives. Yeah, it's it's an interesting contrast of, like, the everyman, but then he's pulling off things that it would take a, a you know, a stunt performer or a circus performer to, to actually do. Yeah. And that's, that's Indiana Jones. Yep. I keep needing to go back and watch um, the movie that the first five minutes of Indiana Jones completely copy is like scene for scene. Really? Um, I didn't know there was one. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it. You know, it's from the... I want to say it's from the 40s. But yeah, like down to the khakis and the hat. <laughs> Maybe even the whip. I can't remember, but... Yeah, the the first that that iconic scene from Indiana Jones, it's it's aped almost almost shot for shot. Wow. Well, I guess that's what Spielberg and Lucas were doing at that time, right? Like the uh, Star Wars and everything else were yeah. pulling from the stuff they loved. Yeah, and I mean, I, I see that happening in my own career. You know, just uh, I'm pulling stuff from Miyamoto. Oh yeah, uh, line for line. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe not line for line, but but certainly move for move or mechanic for mechanic. It's just you know when when you love something, you want to make more of it be in the world. So. Sam, no. No, you hold on! Hold on! Sam! Give me your other arm! Oh, he's probably dead forever, is my guess. <laughs> We're probably never gonna see this guy again. We 
gotta move. Oh, no, he's still down there. No, he's gone. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't leave him behind. Nate, your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. Another um, theming 101 is when bad things are happening, the weather should reflect that. Yep. The wind has picked up. Storms are coming. Sam. Oh, God, no. No. And they did start that sky is getting darker thing, like you mentioned. Yeah, scenes right ago. way back at the prison. Yeah. Well done. Oh, look, it's this this foliage yeah. and a slope. This is so organic say, and great. Yeah. I'm going to fall off a cliff, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and there it was. Uh, it's, it's probably fine. Oh, that would oh, hurt a lot. No, it's water. You're fine. <laughs> you're right. Anyone who's ever belly flopped off a high dive like I have knows Ooh. that it's just fine. Oh, wow. That was all. Wow. That yeah. was all pre credits. This, um, this intro again, it's not innovating in any way. I've seen this in many games and movies. But it's really well done. That it is. And I'm happy to see things done really well. Yeah. And all the stuff they're showing is previous game uh, scenes and moments. Mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> Classic heavy minigunner. Yep. I picked up the Uncharted collection what feels like a year ago and have not had a chance to start it up at all, but I do want to go back through this series sometime. Seriously. <laughs> that brings up a thing that really bothers me about gaming as a medium. And there's no solution to this, and it makes me so sad. It's just... You go back to the beginning of any series, like Uncharted, or Super Mario Bros. 1, or The Legend of Zelda, you know, any of those that have gone on and on and iterated for many years. And then when you're playing the originals, quite often you're just feeling the lack of the features or mechanics that came later. Yep. I mean, there, there's the aesthetic component by itself, you know, just the low fidelity, low resolution. Sure. That kind of accentuates that. But, but even beyond that, just the mechanics that are missing or that are not as tight yeah. and that kind of stuff. And that, that just makes me sad because I, you know, the people who worked on Uncharted One worked really damn hard and and were actually doing a lot of innovation in the you know in the scene at the time, and to think that that work is now denigrated by further work, it's frustrating. It maybe I mean it happens a little bit in film, right? As as editing and pacing have changed, sure. You know, a lot of a lot of kids are bored with Star Wars Episode Four because it's. So it's a slower edited pace. like a 70s sci-fi movie yep. to a certain well no I, I can't say that I mean it's it's certainly not edited like um like uh what's what's the AI one I can't let you do that <laughs> oh like uh Kubrick yeah yeah like but, uh, that or um what was the uh, Silent Runnings was another contemporary that's very plotting and methodical and you know just a lot of slow pans on spaceships so okay so it's certainly faster paced than films of its time, but still by today's Slower comparison. Than today's, yeah. So there's that. But I don't know if that's so much an artifact of, or if it's intrinsic to the artifact that it's not as. That's stylistic growth and change more than like technical, but is, mechanical. But is it growth? That, that's my one. Like, is it just like. In the the time that we live now, Sorry. fast, snappy pacing that cuts out a lot of lingering shots and stuff, like, that's just the vogue, right? And in yeah. 20 years, maybe it's going to have gone back, and, and the, you know, films from our time are going to be seen as just, like, ridiculous circus shows, yeah. because... Even films, like, from different, like, different countries, different cultures will have their own stylistic flair and their own editing for timing and things, so, like, yeah, you're right, that is just, like, a... Uh, sort of a 
or the it, fashion of the art yeah, at the how, time. Yeah, how it's received by the culture as opposed to something intrinsic to the piece. But with games like Uncharted 1, I can, I can comfortably say that further Uncharted are better games. Yes. Because they have innovated, tightened up systems, added better systems, you know, replaced old ones, that sort of thing. So. Absolutely. Two is definitely when it came into its own. Even though there is lots of great stuff to like in one. Yeah. But you but you do miss <laughs> you do miss all the uh, all the growth. And in certain like ways, it would be sad losing the uh, just the time capsule sense of what a game was in its time. Right. But in another way, you're right. Like it is, it doesn't make it any easier to go back to those <laughs> to those older games sometimes. Yeah, I, I tried for a while to to like really get in the headspace of a '70s gamer and try some of those old Atari games and arcade games and stuff like that. And I I could not like <laughs> the idea of gaining mastery through practicing on on such a small canvas. And you know, so quickly, just over and over and over, doing the same thing, like, which is which is interesting because I'm really drawn to um, to procedurally like rogue roguelike games, which are very close to that, like yeah. Binding of Isaac and um, Nuclear Throne and these kind of games. Like, it's still pretty small canvas, but the fact that it's slightly different every time mm -hmm. adds a layer that you know they they didn't have on those old arcade games. And undoubtedly a good bit more polished to the modern roguelike yeah. experience than the older, simpler. So much of older games was fighting the mechanical limitations as opposed to, uh, you know, learning and... Hmm. I'll have to find a better way to articulate that, but yeah, there's definitely a difference. And, and again, it makes me sad because those guys who made those games in the 70s were, you know, geniuses yeah. who were innovating like crazy and coming up with these incredible ideas that set the, the groundwork for the kind of games we have today. Yeah. Making games was a lot harder back then. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard now still because they're a lot more bigger and more complex, but for what those games were... Yeah. Well, you, you look at a, a game with similar scope and mechanics to those old games like you can have game maker studio or unreal and one person can make a game like frogger or, or burger time or something like that pretty easily well, certainly easier than they were done back in the day yeah or or with much less skill Sorry, I'm just kind of screwing around with the... Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're supposed to take that somewhere. I think this is supposed to go inside this crate before they lift it up. Inside the uh, thing here. Can I let go? Alright, that's one crate secure. Good timing. Now there was right underwater right swimming in previous Uncharted's, right? I, don't I think, think there so. was ever scuba diving where you could really take your time and. I believe you're right. Have a, the, like this is a pretty robust move and animation set you've got here. It is, yeah. And they've That's had surface cool. swimming since the beginning, but I don't know if they had much thorough diving swimming. They yeah, had is a lot of animation to. Uh... I wonder if they mo capped uh, actor. Underwater, I can say this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, in some ways, that would, I assume, be more difficult than just animating it. Yeah. Even though animating it to look good would be, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of hours. There's different ways to um, capture motion. There's there's optical, like, um, you know, the little balls that reflect light. Yeah. But then there's also actual 3D sensors. And I think if you did an underwater thing, it would have to be with 3D sensors because... Uh, the water would refract the light too much. Yeah. My guess is it's just hand animated. I'm guessing so. I'm not seeing anything that's like, that makes me feel like this must be Agreed. motion captured. Kind of wondering why this isn't. Oh, I gotta use, do I have to use another button for this or? Come on. <laughs> Nate, just. <laughs> Dude, you know what Do I... The thing. Did you let go? Um, Nate. It, is it the same the same roping button that you used to rope? I tried uh, it. it maybe, I, I may tr 
Kind of done it wrong though, let me uh... Now what if I swim around a bunch? <laughs> At that style, yeah, <laughs> that was a neat handoff you did. That was that yeah, behind your oh, back my. handoff. That is cool. Impressive. And this thing is actually coiling around. I'm impressed. It's probably not going to do what you need it to do. I am almost certain. Oh. No, wait, wait. Is it almost? Oh, it is. Oh, it actually is. I coil it around and I triangle it. Triangle it. Yeah, that's wow, that actually is how you mechanically do it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, so let's try this again. Around and through and bam. That's neat. I really want to see that mechanic used in a not necessarily a combat situation, but you know, you're trying to stop a, a bad guy sub from leaving the dock or you know, something like that. Yep, yep. I would hate to think that this whole system was programmed <laughs> and animated for this one scene, although yep. I would not be surprised if that was the case. This is the sort of game where th that happens. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. Oh, I have to go under it now. Yikes. Okay, got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> okay. It's a little overkill, maybe. <laughs> it's really hard to animate a stringy prop to begin with. It's really hard to sync the animation of a prop to a character's animation. Yeah. And to get those to work in high fidelity right next to each other. That's that's one of those things where a casual player is just going to take it for granted. But as someone who's tried to do that kind of stuff, I'm just <laughs> like, my jaw is dropped. It's yeah. such a mundane thing. It's just like... Yeah, he's tightening things, so what? <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing the number of mundane things. Uh, how much are, work goes into Yeah, those. how challenging they can be. And how, like, it's not challenging in any other medium. Like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that were to happen in a movie, you can make that movie for $2. Yep. Look at that beauty. Very nice. How much can you swing the camera around here? Oh, completely. Hang on. Hang on. What's up, boys? Oh, this looks really nice. Yeah, and how much, like, how do you animate a rig like that coming off a character's back? So they, they would mocap them removing a backpack, right? Yeah. Would the backpack actually be mocap? They might have a sensor or two on the backpack just to get its position, but they'd have to do a lot of hand-done stuff on the uh, straps and the... Uh... It, it, like, taking off and putting on a backpack on a character is actually quite complex. Yeah. Uh, they did it a lot for Last of Us, though, so I guess they figured out, like, mm, yeah, just, just entering a menu, take off your backpack. I've ever sat through. <laughs> Hold on, is that a compliment? Because I'm stunned. Nah, you know what's stunning? Your smell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man, I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. Classic mom. <laughs> That's cold, man. I'm gonna tell her you said that, too. Fling away! Who needs my signature? Oh. Guy with the notepad. Here we go. <laughs> Government's like ten. Let's wrap this up later. How much longer are you gonna be? My hero. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what you I still feel like the 
uh, the bill on that guy's hat was not casting a good shadow. This is, this is my hang up on all games forever until it's just right. This shadows cast from hats. Yeah, friends need to cast good shadows. I remember you talking about that with L.A. Noir, where they really need it. Yeah. <laughs> to make the look work. That was like their fore their foreheads were full bright. Yeah. <laughs> and then like pure black under the brim. That, <laughs> that was the worst. Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Those weren't the crates you were picking up and moving around with. I think they were. Just melt it down, make some pennies. That looks bigger. That looks like a rectangular one, and you were using uh, moving square ones, I think. <laughs> no, Cubic no, ones. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just going to do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? So is he just kind of working a nine to five now? It looks like it. Yeah. Looks like he's settling down. Sunk to true mundanity. <laughs> Although I suppose salvaging is not at all mundane. That'd no, be a that's... pretty exciting job. <laughs> As day jobs go. At least when you're down there, I'm sure the the support structure to do that probably requires a lot of boring logistics. Sure. He has a job now where paperwork is actually involved. Yeah. Though, so <laughs> that's a change. Less punching, more paperwork. <laughs> Got a present for you. Present? What's yeah, that? how they get like that that background to to feel romantic that's yeah that's all lighting and color that's that's neat that they figured out how to do that hey they got hat brim shading yeah that's nice maybe it was just we, we did it <laughs> just the angle like i caught it at that last scene video games have arrived <laughs> congratulations everyone we did it good work naughty dog can no one get the damn permit? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permit. Now I'm going to complain about the uniformity of the salt and pepper uh, white hairs in his beard. <laughs> uh, that's 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 the fun part. Like no matter how far we get, there's always further to go. Always. <laughs> well, you look at a medium like film that's been around for over a hundred years, and. Uh, you know, they've had photorealism for quite a while. <laughs> they still have still have uh, common mistakes that you can spot in every movie. Yep. Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? Right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. You really did your homework on this one. Oh, look at that interactive paperwork. <laughs> Narrow down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. That'd be great if you had to sign your name with the controller stick. The <laughs> Duke Nukem Forever style. Bitch. <laughs> 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 no, no, no way. You are going with the others. So I still can't tell if this is before or after the previous games. My guess is that this, we are now after all the previous games. We so are, you think... He's settled down, he's older, he's not doing the crazy adventure you stuff You think his anymore. brother died after the other games? No, I think his brother died. I think all that, that happened, because uh, we got a uh, 15 years later screen, oh. kind of between all that and uh, this. So I think that was before all the other Uncharted games, and now we are after all the other Uncharted games. And some of this stuff may be okay. artifacts from previous adventures. Nice little sculpture. Yeah. Good job, sculptor. Yee. One of the stranger things I've collected along the years. How long did a modeler spend on that? Uh, that little um, sculpture, not the, well, this one looks like something you could crank out in two hours. The uh, that other one may have taken a bit longer. Yeah, that one looks like that could have taken a day or so. Yep. Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? And the fact that there are hundreds of little props like that. Yep. Just on this shelf, there are quite a few. 
Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. That's production value, folks. Yep. Hey, the old notebook. At some point you got shot in the heart, but the notebook caught it. So take it. Yeah, I, either I did or Sully did. I can't remember. I think that was an Uncharted 1 thing. It has been a while since I played all these. This is a neat way to, uh, neat way to reminisce about previous games. It is. Especially in a... Uh, Up in the attic. Especially in a game that is meant to be the last in the series. Mm -hmm. We've been through so many big set piece tense moments now. It's nice having a just a little mementos and reminders. Yeah, some some nice quiet moments to pace things out a little better. Miss you, pal. <laughs> Indiana Jones out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... Yeah! <laughs> Cute. Here they come. Take cover. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's a fun way to teach shooting. Yeah. You have not used a gun in the game yet. I did at the very, very beginning, like with the, uh, super briefly while, Oh, that's right, the, boat, on the, the boat chase. Yeah, yeah like I... Shot three guys, and that's about it. He keeps a lot of toy guns yeah, around here. You haven't done any stop and pop yet. <laughs> right. I want this toy gun. This is pretty. <laughs> Eat plastic. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how he spends his time now. <laughs> <laughs> he's not not diving. He's playing with a Nerf gun in his attic. If I can be doing this. When I retire, I might actually go for it. <laughs> That'll teach you. Uh, I'm taking this gun with me. This is not the door. Where's the exit? You must shoot all three targets in within five seconds. <laughs> See ya. Nate, how do you get out of your attic? Oh, here we go. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. hey. Yeah, right is here. Time to get super domestic. Yeah, playtime's over. All right. Fell into the Last of Us house. Oh, I did. Complete with really wide door frames. That's some nice, <laughs> kind of bundled up, just cloth and towels on the floor. Nope. Well, someone had to model those. Yep. <laughs> I've been seeing some neat advances in just, uh... Cloth sim stuff? Not even really cloth sim, but like in... Uh, is it photogrammetry? Is that the correct... Term. Oh, yeah, yeah, where you take a picture from lots of different angles and yeah. kind of stitches it together into a 3D prop. Yeah, which definitely does not work for all kinds of props, but for I hear for actually just trash and cloth and stuff yeah. on the floor, it's actually really good. So this That's a good point. could be that. Good point. It's a cool bit of tech that is uh, great for... I'm sure as it evolves, its application will, will increase as well. Oh, yeah. Someday we'll never need an artist again. I'm joking. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we're going. <laughs> it's just like Hollywood doesn't need artists because you have all this stuff in real life, right? Yeah. This is what you're working on. I really like uh, opt-in lore. That's I do too. The fact that it's there is nice. They're good at that. When I play this later on my own time, I will be totally looking for every single one of these objects around the house. <laughs> I will not do that right now, though. We've got a got a game to see. Schedule to keep. <laughs> and you know what? I think we will get further in the game next time. I think we'll, when we return, I will... <laughs> we'll do The Sims 4 Uncharted. <laughs> All right, see you next time, folks.